Hello and welcome to another Motion Industries how-to video. My name is Tom Clark, I'm your host, and on today we have an edition of Tom's Toolbox. And uh, this uh, crazy looking contraption right here is going to help me show you Lovejoy's Run Right Self-Adjusting Tensioner. Now, you know, you have heard me mention chain slack before, and this is definitely something that you do not want to have in your machinery. You got things flapping all over the place. It's like the wacky inflatable guy in front of a car thing. Wacky inflatable arm guy! Wacky inflatable arm guy! You don't want your chains doing that, okay? So this tensioner is gonna help extend system life, it increases system efficiencies, and save you money. Those all sound pretty good to me. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and put my safety glasses on. I've got my reading glasses off because PPE is always important in every job. Make sure you're wearing the right PPE for whatever the job calls for. Now, where would you use something like this? Well, the most common use for a tensioner device is on a roller chain or belt application. Now, that's because over time, a chain or belt is going to elongate with use. You know, these things are just, they're going to compart just a little bit. Now, the tensioner is going to automatically adjust to correct for slacking or sagging to enable longer and smoother system life. Of course, it must be installed correctly, and that's what I'm going to show you here today. Now to start, you want to be sure you have a rigid, flat, and clean machine surface to attach the tension using the mounting bolt provided. All right, and our mounting bolt is located on the back right here. All right. Now, the frictional contact between the tensioner housing and the machine surface is usually sufficient for proper installation. Alternatively, if you're working with a surface that is uneven or highly corroded, a locking pin can be used at the positioning notch, which is right down here, you see this right down here, for a secure connection to a machine's irregular surface. Tensioners should always be mounted on the non-driving or slack side of the chain or belt with the sprocket positioned over the body of the tensioner. And that's what we have right there. The tensioner's idler sprocket should be positioned approximately one-third of the distance from the drive sprocket. And for chain drives, you want to position the idler sprocket on the outside of the drive. And be sure to engage at least three teeth in the chain. Now, when you're using run right tensioners on V-belt drives, you're going to want to position the idler pulley on the inside of the drive to match the contour of the belt. For chains, position on the outside. For V-belt drives, position on the inside. Good. To properly install a tensioner, you're going to want to first loosely mount the tensioner, align the tensioner's idler sprocket, and tighten down the idler positioning nuts on the idler bolt. Now this would be the idler bolt right here that we have. This is our sprocket, idler bolt right there. Now with the idler sprocket set, using a wrench on the square portion of the tensioner body, this is the square portion right here, you can see how it's kind of square, and another wrench on the mounting bolt, that's going to be this way right here. You want to apply pressure to the tensioner body until proper tension is achieved. So we're, we're tightening and then what happens is you're going to get, you can see this is the tension that we're talking about right here. And then you tighten down the mounting bolt to the recommended torque. And that's it. There you have it. It's a simple plan to greatly improve your system. Now, in addition to belt and chain applications, run right tensioners can add enormous value in everything from accurately transporting product by applying constant pressure to the material flow with rollers to belt scraping. And RunRight offers these in seven standard sizes with many custom options and configurations available, including stainless steel for food and pharmaceutical applications. Oh, uh, by the way, this same self-adjusting technology can also be found in their line of motor bases as well, which are designed specifically to reduce labor for retensioning or replacing V-belts on system drives. Because you can see how it's manufactured in there, and you can see now that motor will be able to move. You have a little bit of tension give, a little bit of play in there, you know? Now, that's going to do it for us today here on Tom's Toolbox. Hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions about the Lovejoy items that you saw here today, make sure you contact your nearest Motion Industries branch location. Talk to your representative. They'll help you out with some information. Also, I'd love for you to tune in to more of Tom's Toolbox with me, Tom Clark, as your host. You can catch that on the Motion Industries YouTube channel. Thanks so much for watching.